Welcome to this day's Lenten devotion. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The council of the Jews had condemned Jesus to death. And after the trial was over, Matthew records that they spit in his face and struck him with their fists. Others slapped him and said, prophesy to us, Christ, who hit you? Who did the council members and guards think Jesus was? What did they think Jesus' intentions for his ministry to the people were? Under the influence of the father of lies, their hearts were closed and their mouths open as they spit upon Jesus as if he were an enemy. They beat him as if he were a coward. They shouted at him as if he were the worst of criminals. The guards were completely mistaken about Jesus' intentions, weren't they? As Christians, we know the Lord who stood before them was neither enemy, nor coward, nor criminal. Jesus was the suffering Son of God on a divinely designed mission with a guaranteed intention to save sinners. If he had to take the guards' spit and laughter to save us, so be it. He would not be turned from the way of sorrows, which was leading him to death on the cross. Give thanks for our Savior, whose intentions are still misunderstood by a world that remains blinded by the father of lies. As you give thanks for the Savior's loving intentions toward you, consider your intentions, for instance, toward the wife or husband or child or friend in your life. What a blessing it is to have someone in your life who loves you. Does that someone always know your loving intentions toward them or her? Toward today might be a good day to let that someone know your love with a gift of flowers or a special act of care. It overcomes the father of lies. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, Open my eyes to see, appreciate, and share your divine intentions to save sinful humanity. Keep me and mine from any activity which would tarnish your name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen.